Hello and welcome to episode 10, or day 10 of my 12 tips of Christmas. And today this is part 2 of my uh, of my nice little typography tutorial. Which I started yesterday, if you haven't seen that then I'd recommend watching that before you watch this one. Because this episode is on how to animate your text. So in the last episode you would have seen me doing, um, basically you would have seen me doing this. As you can see what it's done is it's just animated the text, like so. And I think it looks pretty awesome. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to New on the click. What we're going to start off by doing is clicking New, obviously, and then go to Null Object. And then do the same again, New, and then Camera. So, with Camera we're going to pick 35mm, click OK. And now we're going to parent the camera with the Null Object. So we'll see as it's like that. That should be what it says. That should be what it looks like, sorry. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our first word. And we're going to click the drop down on the null object. And where it says transform. Ah, sorry, I forgot to say something. I need to enable 3D on all my objects, including my null object. So as you can see now, we're 3D enabled. And uh, we can do like 3D stuff. Not that I'm going to use probably 3D in this one, though. As you can see, you can just spin it around and stuff like that. And it looks pretty nice. So, okay, what we're going to do is, starting off, we find where the first word starts, which is there. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make sure that's in the centre, so I'm going to keyframe them, uh, position and scale. Make sure that the first word is centred, and I might get up my grid for this. Grid. Oh, not that grid. The wrong grid, guys. It's the wrong grid. That's the grid I want. So you're going to find where the centre is, I'm going to centre it. And position, just move that there. So then we're going to find where our second word is, and that's hello. So we're going to move it down our position, like so. So the hello is centered, and we're going to position it a bit over there. So make sure you're keyframing this, otherwise, it'll look a bit dodgy. So as you can see, say hello, then find go to the next word, which is two, and that one's rotated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Z rotation. And I'm going to keyframe that bit there as well. So I'm going to keyframe the rotation. And I'm, so I'm going to spin it around minus 90 degrees or something like that. I think it is minus 90. No, it's plus 90 degrees. And I'm going to center that. So position. Two. I might zoom in a little bit. Um, and bring out my position a bit more. So you just want to center each word and rotate it if you've added rotation. First what I want to do is I want to make sure that this black solid is a bit bigger because otherwise we're going to be getting uh, the black solid's going to disappear and we'll have like blank bits on the screen where the black solid hasn't fit on. So as you can see so far what we've got is we should have animated the first bit so say hello to and then we're going to find where my comes in which is there. And then we're going to go to position again. No, we're going to go to rotation first. I think that's easiest. I'm just going to change it back to zero. So we're back to normal again. And then my uh, position, we're going to move it up a bit to get my in the middle there. And we're just going to make sure that my's in the middle. So now what we've got is say hello to my. Nice. Now, but what I'm, what you can mess around with is... Make sure it's not zoomed in too far, otherwise it looks a bit silly and it's quite hard to read. So, um, yeah, you just want to make sure that it's all in proportion. I think that looks all right at the moment. I might have to adjust it at the end to see how it looks. So now we've got little littles coming. So we're gonna just move little to the middle. Um, but you can play around with this. Obviously, it's up to you. For the bigger words, I like to scale it out a bit like that. But um. Yeah, that's up to you. So say hello to my little, and then friend comes in at the bottom here. So I'm just going to zoom that out a bit more for friend, and I'm going to rotate it minus 90 degrees like that. That's a bit off, so 90. Oh, minus 90, I meant. And then we're going to center it. And as I said, it's it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It's just takes a bit of time, you want to spend a bit of time on it, obviously. So say hello to my little friend. There you go. I probably wouldn't have it that. Now I think about it, that too looks a bit dodgy when the other word is there. Um, like if you get what I'm saying, but actually that word shouldn't 
Right, um, what have I done? Right, I want that on zero. So you want to make sure you keyframe it for every word. Um, I want to keyframe my scale, actually. So you make sure you, you keyframe every word in. So, uh, just to keep it all in proportion. And then, like that, as you can see there, looks good. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know by leaving a comment and a like. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's double episodes, uh, which should be on... I don't know yet, but there should be some good stuff tomorrow because it's Christmas Eve. So, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.